y'all, Gail Woodford here from Gaming Gems and welcome back to Corpse Party. Right, in the last part we're just getting to grips with the different characters, who they are, a bit of a bit back, about the backstory and they did a ritual with the doll and then everything went to shit. And we're now what was, what they think was the old school. So, um, so wandering around trying to find a way out and also trying to find our friends. So I'll get straight back into it. Head up these stairs. Uh, oh, that looks a bit broken. Can I use that? No, I can't. Dumpy dumpy dum. Oh, 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 oh. Such tiny shoes. Are they shoes? This really was an elementary school, huh? Yeah. You and the others must be getting pretty hungry by now. Oh yeah, I forgot. Your father's working late tonight, isn't he? Yep. All those mouths to feed don't come cheap after all. And while Dad's working to put some food in them, I get to be the house fro- house fro. <laughs> yeah, I guess you and them are still just little kids, so somebody would need to be around. You're pretty amazing, Sieko. High schooler and mom all rolled into one. how I feel about that statement. <laughs> I just have to get back to them, though. Guess it's the same for you, too. Your mom's waiting for you, Naomi. But we'll make it back. I know we will. One way or another, we'll get out of this place. You bet. Oh, they seem like sweet girls. Uh, is that not the way I go? Entrance way. The heavy door is firmly shut and seems unlikely or unwilling to open through any normal means. Uh -huh. Oh! No good! It won't budge! Didn't feel like it gave at all. In fact, I don't think we'll be able to force it open. Man, so close and yet so far. Well, I guess we better look for another way out. Yeah. On we go! Past the tiny shoes. Can I go this way? No. No, I can't. Can I go this way? No. Okay. Uh, that wall looks loose. Hello. No. Right. Ball for you then. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Bum, 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 bum. Let's have a look. See what it's about. Anything this way? No, that's the candle again. Don't need that. Ah, wait a minute. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Right, okay. So. Can I take this board again? Yes. Why did the music change? Oh, that's okay. Over here. Do I cover it in pee? I hope not. Yes, place the loose board. Go! Right, okay. Uh, 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 fuck it, I'm going in here. Because some of the friends might be in here. We don't like that music. <laughs> Ow! What's wrong, Naomi? Look, over there. Aren't those bones? Like, people bones? here. Wait, let me look at them more closely. Maybe they're not real. Yeah, they could be from science class. Let's have a look at it first before you freak out. Before you do that, hang on, let me run around. I want to read this pit, uh, this uh, thing here. Is it the same? I'm going to kill you. Nice! Didn't I read on the, it's on the blackboard? 1973-09-18. So the 18th of September, 1973. Okay. Same date again, I think. They really are somebody's bones. No! Seiko? You two. You two are new victims. Are you not? I'll change the voice. 
ghost. What is this? Scooby Doo. Who are you? I was brought here against my will and confined, just like you. Confined? Do you mean there's no way out? I'm afraid not. This school exists in a reality all its own, cut off from the world you know. So why have we been brought here? They brought you. They're constantly bringing new victims into this school. Sinless innocents, one after another, all trapped in here. Doomed to live out the rest of their days in this hell. Who are they? This is a cursed multi-dimensional nexus. Multiple planes of existence, all piled on top of one another. Created by powerful, vengeful spirits. Closed space. Or perhaps closed spaces. You, and we as well, are the unlucky victims of their twisted whims. We have all been abducted. Closed spaces? Indeed. And it seems you two are not the only ones to have been brought here. I'm sensing numerous others. What? Does that mean everybody else is here too? Are they okay, I wonder? So our friends are in this school too? I don't know the exact number, but I do know that others were pulled into these spaces at the same time as you. They are definitely in this school. Oh my goodness, that's such good news! Naomi, they're here! We're not alone! That means Mochita's here too! I'll bet that makes you feel a lot better, right? However, you ca- sorry. However, you cannot meet them. They are definitely in this school, but the space they occupy differs from the space we occupy. Well, it would, wouldn't it? If you wish to see your friends, you must find some means of entering their space or bringing them into this space. Even then, escape is nigh impossible. But at least you'll be able to die together. Oh, how cheery. How comforting. Oh, oh, oh no. Is there no way out of here then? You said we were brought here by vengeful spirits, right? Who are they and why have they taken us? I don't know. It's the fucking doll. Neither the motives of our captors, nor a means of escaping this hell. All I know is that with some effort, you can at least live out your days together in the same space. And that alone is a fate worth fighting for. Two heads are better than one. Your chances and your opportunities are so much greater when working together. Do whatever you can to find a way out of here. This is a team building exercise because if it is, it's a pretty shitty exercise. Don't end up like us. Oh, all right then. You didn't actually run, what you? Are you all right, Seiko? Yeah, but what the hell was that? A child spirit. It did kind of glow. I never believed in ghosts before. Is this really happening? There were definitely ghosts in there. First time I've ever seen something like that. So you saw it too, right? Yeah, and we were talking to it. I I just don't understand any of this. Except that there's no easy way out for us. Like it or not, we're stuck in here. It, it'll be okay. Let's just, you know, march on with our heads held high or something. Good advice. Does this notice? Can I read this notice? No, I can't. Right, let's try this door instead. Oh, it's another ghost. Hello! If you should die here, you'll experience the pain you felt at the moment of death for all eternity. Oh, fabulous. Heaven's completely cut off. No paradise, no nirvana, just eternal pain. 
Why did I have to die like that? Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Ooh. Acquired unknown key. Oh, cheers, spirit. So, you'll feel the pain of death forever. No thanks. Guess not to think about that. Sioko, I couldn't agree more. The stairs beyond this point are piled with rubble. There's no way to rip right. So that would say to me that those other children that went missing, they've been brought into this well, this void, this parallel universe, whatever this is. Or maybe he wants us to think that, and it's not that simple. Uh, can I go back in here? Or is that ghost still there? Ah, the ghost has got... Right, she's wrote on the... What the heck is this? Was this here before? No, it was not. I don't know. But it's just a picture, right? Yeah, what of? The image on the board depicts a figure holding a pair of scissors pursuing four smaller figures. Oh, lovely. How lovely. Serve. Thank you. Have this door. Hello, can I go in here? Door is locked. I have a key. The unknown key seems to fit the lock perfectly. The door can now be opened. Oh, hmm? Naomi, what's wrong? I don't know. It's like my heart skipped a beat as soon as the key was turned. I have a really bad feeling about this room. Trust me, it'll be just fine. I mean, it's a locked door. You know what that means, right? Booty! Behind every locked door lies a hidden treasure, just waiting to be claimed. Can't you hear me calling to you? Ah, fuck it, I've just saved, so it doesn't matter. Hello, what are you on the floor? Let me read this letter first, because the letter's probably more important. Heavenly Post, breaking news, serial kidnapping ends in murder. The good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained in blood today as horrific details on the recent wave of disappearances are revealed. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town, and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now investigators have lo located the whereabouts of these children, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the absconded youth were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September the 18th, 1973, at around 7pm, which explains the date on the blackboard. Authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Each of the corpses had its tongue severed and... removed something or other. Uh, something mutilations far too grotesque to describe the page is torn at this point and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found how awful I think I heard about this though once before not me but I guess it did happen long before we were born so I shouldn't be too surprised oh fuck why are you not lit <laughs> A message has been written on the desk with magic markers in big letters. Let's hate one another with all we have. Fucking cheap. What? Okay, what's this? Ugh, another dead body. A message has been painstakingly scratched into the floor with fingernails. Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. Oh, fuck! Well, I already did! The door seems fixed to the wall like a decoration. It won't open. Well, I did look at the newspaper, alright? I'm fucked. Oops, wrong one. Let me out. Yeah, that's lots of lets me out. I've already looked at the newspaper. I fucked it up. I already did! Am I stuck then? I will never leave this room. Am I dead? Why? I'm leaving this room whether you like it or not. 
I am fucking going somewhere. Probably insane. Oh, sob, sob. Oh, fuck. Let's do paper change again. Hmm. Have I fucked this up? I may have fucked this up. Candle, will you light, please? Yeah, it's about fucking sheep again. I don't want to fuck any sheep, thank you very much. I just want to get out of this fucking classroom, which I don't think I'm going to be able to, because I fucked it one. Fucked it all up. Ah. There's no way out. Oh, what do we do? This is your fault, you know. What? How? <sighs> Just... Never mind. We're getting out! Oh, get out the fucking door! Oh, big goody star. Oh, man, oh. that scared the crap out of me. <sighs> the only one, love. Hold up. Oh, no. No, it's gone! What is? The paper doll scrap I got from Ayumi. Oh, the charm? Mine's still in my student ID holder. Crap! I put mine in my pocket. It must have fallen out somewhere. That's why I keep telling you, you need to put things away before they get lost. Somebody. Now I'm sad. Well, I'm not going back for it. Fuck off. Admit it, you hate all your friends. No! Eventually, you'll kill one another. No! Uh, I can hear like a fly buzzing or something. Oh, lovely! That looks. Yeah. Oh, fuck! What the hell is this? It's horrifying. It's like somebody was thrown from the end of the hall at superhuman speed. And just splattered everywhere. Oh, it smells so meaty. <laughs> Sorry, are you okay? You me? I'm, I'm fine. Let's just get away from here. <coughs> okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that a door? That door's locked. There's one up here. Hang on a minute. I pass. Uh, flies. What well, can I get in there? No, right. Balls to you then. This way. Is that a loose board again? Yes, I take that with me. Thank you. You always change music when I pick up the boards. Leave me alone. Oh, more bones. Fabulous. The mostly bleached skeletal remains of a female student lie sprawled across the floor. Loose bones and straps of clothing are dangling from a hole in the ceiling above the body, suggesting she fell to her death from the second floor. Fucking hell. Upon closer inspection, there's a student ID name tag attached to what's left of her uniform. Seisei Academy for Girls, Class 1-2, Yuzua Mikami. Name tag acquired. Okay. Is that still part of... There are several crumpled sheets of paper on the floor next to the body. They seem to have been dropped by the victim at the time of death. We four noble musketeers begin today. Let's meet behind the main gate after school. Koyoto. I'm in classroom 5A. Everybody's fine. Yuzua, come join us. Asuka. Okay. So they found the bodies. Like I said, I thought they'd disappeared into here, but they found, they found the bodies in the investigation. But is it kind of, they got pulled into here, it could be, and then they kill, get killed and then their bodies just get discarded back into the real world. But if that's the case, then why are they there? I try to answer too many questions. I haven't got enough information, so don't bother with it, answering the questions just yet. I told everyone that I'd go with them. So why have I been left behind? It hurts. It hurts so much. That sounds horrible. Looks like they... Looks like there really have been a lot of different people brought here. I wonder how many. No 
It'll work out for us, though. I'm sure of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like you trying to stay confident. Oh, it's one of them ghosts again. Hello! If you wish to leave this place, you must take heed of the messages left behind by the many other victims who died here. Many victims have left their thoughts or even their dying messages on the scraps of paper that litter these walls. It hurts. It hurts so much. Thank you for the information. Now where the fuck am I? Uh, try this way. I'll go in here first. Fuck that. The door seems to touch to the wall like a sculpture. It won't budge in the slightest. Oh, well, looks like I'm going in there. Well, you can hang on a minute because I'm reading this. My head is splitting. It's unbearable. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. When we found Yazua's body, I saw a black shadow. But I didn't tell anyone about it. And now it's killed them all. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so so- The lower half of the text is obscured by a thick layer of dried blood. Whoa. Fucking hell. There are skeletal remains sprawled across the floor here, small enough to be a middle schooler. Looking closely, you could see a student ID name tag. Sai Sai Academy for Girls, Class 1-2, Koito Fujiwara. Another name tag. Okay. Yeah, now I'm just going to go up that door in just a minute. Let me just have a look over here. Yeah, music's changed back. Am I going in circles? Classroom 5A. Hang on, I'll try the other door. Excuse me a minute. Whee! Other door! Get in the, well, get in then. There you go. No date at all this time. Right, uh, purple thing. Assuming I might have to use a board somewhere. Okay, hang on a minute. A crumbled up note fell from the skeleton's hand. You're an idiot, Koito. If you don't believe with all your heart, then we'll never get rescued. I thought we were friends. Oh dear. The skeletal remains of a girl with a big hole in her skull are still sitting on the chair. A closer inspection reveals a student ID name tag. Asuka Kato. I want that sparkly thing. Hang on. Let me, uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, bugger, hang on. Bugger, 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 bugger. That flame wasn't there before. Hello. What do you want? If you don't keep a close eye on it, that light's going to run away from you. Pay attention to its location. Find the exact spot where it once stood and examine it thoroughly. What bloody light? Oh, I don't fucking know. When we come in the back, it jumps to the front. Oh, I see. So, how about one of us waits for it over there? Right, okay, 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 okay. So, we'll, uh... Go this way this time. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Well, I say it's close enough. It probably won't be close enough. Like, it, it looks close enough, but it probably won't be enough. It disappeared. And it doesn't seem to have made the jump over to here either. Oh, really? Well, that's poo. Right, okay, we have to get the exact freaking spot. Right, okay. Excuse me. Right, I'll try and remember that. Try and remember that, try and remember that, try and remember that. Right, 
try that. Where? Ah! This way. Ah, there we go. Almost got it. Aha! Gotcha! Naomi, I got it! You did it! Nice job! Ha ha! I got it! Turned out to be this. Acquired infirmary key. Goes to show what a little teamwork can do, eh? Yeah, we make a great team. Right. Infirmary. I passed that on the way here. So, let's go there. Oh, that flame's disappeared. This isn't the right way. Hang on. I know there's a big ominous door there with a with a large streak of blood outside it, but you know, I can wait to go in there. I'm not in any rush. This is the right way, yeah. Bones everywhere. This is correct. Ah, this is the infirmary, isn't it? I think. Infirmary! Here we go! Well, there's a candle at least. Wash your hands with soap. Good advice. There's an old journal on the desk. At least it appears to be a journal. In reality, it's more like a model fused to the desk surface. It can't be lifted and the pages can't be turned. Fine. There's a lamp on the desk, but it doesn't seem to work. Flipping the switch does nothing. Okay. There's an anatomical diagram of the human body tacked to the wall. Looking closely, it seems as if someone painted over each of the organs with actual blood. Graphic. Vast quantities of medicine and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves, along with a single bottle of rubbing alcohol. I said something there. I could take one or two bottles with me, but I'd probably just end up breaking them and cutting myself. Besides, I don't trust anything in here. Oh, fair enough. The handle turns, but not a drop of water comes out. Is it just from some place for me to save? Thank you! I like to save. I like to save! It's an old-fashioned space heater, but it's so full of ash that it'll probably never light again. A box of matches is on the ground next to it. Take them. Damn right! Acquired a box of matches. Yeah, bitches, I got matches! Those beds look comfy. Comfy, comfy. Thank you! Well, at least I know I can always come back to the infirmary and save. Should I get stuck? Right, where was I? Oh yes, Dicing with Death. I remember. Oop, this way, Naomi. I think I'm Naomi. Now before we go to the left and certain doom, I'm just going to continue to go along this hallway to check there wasn't anything else. Ah, more bones. And a red door. Oh, fabulous. Right, let's read these. There's a handwritten letter on the floor. I'm a goner, sis. The tendons in my ankle have been cut really bad. The bleeding just won't stop. Please don't give up. I want you to keep living for both of us. I'm going to document everything I've learned so far in the hope that you can use this information to help keep yourself safe. What was the name? There's a partially bleached skeleton sprawled across the floor. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any sort of name tag to scan. Based on the gore-soaked remains of the uniform and the length of the hairs scattered around the head, it's safe to say this was a female student. Custodian's closet. The doors stick to the wall like decoration won't open. There's an erratic noise like that of TV static coming from within. Oh, static in a horror game! Fabulous! Oh, I've gone back in there again. Didn't want to do that. Oh. Right. Time to go in the nasty door. Well, that's if it'll let me in. Uh, hello. The door's nailed shut. It definitely won't be opening anytime soon. Do not enter under any circumstances. Principal Takamini Yanagihori. I want to get in there. Although he's telling me not to. I still want to. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Where am I going then? I have a board, I know that. Is this 
still not open. No, okay. These don't go anywhere. Right here. Have I missed anything in this classroom? I don't think I have. But it's worth making sure. Uh, I don't like when they change it. Fuck off. Hmm. Well, you don't want me to go... Oh, no, a minute. Oh, no, that's the, uh, the way I came. That's where I started. What's this classroom? Did I go in here? Oh, yeah, that was it, yeah. I wonder. Can I... Nope, there's no, there's no, uh, I thought there might have been floorboards, uh, a place for the floorboards, uh, I could put that down so I could get across the hole, but no! Keep looking! What do you want? Can you tell me anything different? No, sorry. Oh no, that's where the little shoes are. Is that a door? No, it's not. Any doors here? No. No door. Infirmary again. Can I actually look at this? No, I can't. Oh, it's still a minute squelched. Yes, place the loose ball. Yay! Good -o. Well, who the fuck was that? There's a crumpled piece of paper on the ground that seems to have fallen from the corpse's lifeless hand. Oh, wait a minute. I pressed there wrong. God will surely save me. A pile of haphazardly strewn human bones is heaped under the floor. Upon closer examination, a student ID name type can be seen jutting out from one side. Sasa, Sasha Shinonomi. Lavatory. Boys room to the left, girls room at the end of the hall. Okay. Even turning the handle all the way, not a drop of water emerges from the faucet. The drain is completely stopped up with some loose strands of black hair and the basin is filled with dirty water. Ugh. The smell of ammonia is almost staggering here. I know this is a bit disgusting, but you got to check everywhere in these games, haven't you? So... Sorry! What the hell was that? Someone who doesn't like being watched when they're going potty. That was either an actual voice or an auditory hallucination. And I really don't know which is more likely. Try this one then. No, no, middle one. No, right, I'm going. Sorry to bother you. Have a nice poop. There's a clump of unidentifiable meat inside the rusted bucket, completely crawling with maggots. Lovely! Is that for tea? Ah, girls' lavatory. The, um, the faucet makes an unpleasant sound of clanging pipes when the handle is turned, but no water comes out. Got black hair again. Alright, let's see what happens this time. Nope. 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 It won't open. Bagger! Right. Hmm. Okay, that one won't open. Hey, hey, Naomi. Hmm? Do you have any of that ass medicine on you by any chance? You know this smeary stuff? What the hell? What, again? Yeah, my butt's been drier in a desert since we got near. Well, I've got some antibacterial cream if that'll work. Thanks. I'm gonna go butter up my pooper with it real good. What the fuck is this turned into? Do you have any shame at all? Don't you go? 
fucking there then. See you, go. Seiko? Seiko? Hmm? Uh, nothing. Just, just checking to make sure you're here. I'll leave. This is weird. I don't know what this is turning into, but fucking hell. Do I have to go back in the, um... Boys' lab? That still says the same thing. Okie dokie. Uh... What about this one? Ah! What's that? Yuka! Hang on, hang on, hang on, come 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 on, I'm coming! Uh, where the fuck are you? Hey, where is this one? was locked when we were in here before. It was. Why is it? I didn't have any trouble getting in. Fine. I guess I'll let you off the hook. We have bigger things to worry about after all. I actually just heard Euclid's voice out in the hallway. I think it was coming from downstairs. Really? Let's go check it out. Right. After I've checked this toilet. Oh no, it won't open again. So, are you prejudiced toilet? Are you prejudiced against Naomi? Do you not like Naomi? Well, Naomi doesn't like you. <laughs> and as a language you'll understand. <laughs> I don't know what it translates to, but whatever. Back down the stairs, quick for little Yuka, bless her. She's only 14. <laughs> oh, fell over again. Naomi! Naomi, are you okay? That was a close one. Oh, my leg. Thanks for lending a hand. No problem. I'm just glad you didn't fall. Seems like you sprained your ankle pretty badly, though. We should find you some place to sit down and rest. Yeah, you're probably right. Here, lean on my shoulder for the time being. Thanks. I owe you one, Seiko. Eat nothing of it. Can I have my floorboards back? No. Right. Uh... Yeah! Oh! What the hell? <laughs> I stepped in it! Oh, you did? It's here, I've got some tissues. Maybe you can wipe it off? Ugh, these, these are definitely somebody's guts. And when I stepped on whatever part of their body I stepped on, it made a squishy sound. Like I just popped my shoe into a juicy pile of dog poo. Oh, that's way too much information. You're gonna make me puke. Sorry. Look at hell. She's obsessed with rear ends. Is this a place for me to lie down or something? <sighs> Somehow I expected the beds to be a lot dustier. They are surprisingly clean. That's good though. Now you can finally rest your weary bones, Naomi. Yeah, I think I'm going to lie down for a bit. All tucked away in the corner like that? I've always preferred nooks and corners. They just make me feel... safe, I guess. Uh-huh. I know just what you mean. I'm the exact same way. I wonder if there's anything here we could use to soothe that ankle of yours. Sit tight, Naomi. I'm going to take a look. Okay. Thanks a bunch. Don't thank me yet. I haven't done anything. <sighs> ah, this will do nicely. Hi. <laughs> Can I speak now? I got me a makeshift splint and some bandages. That sprain's a goner. Now hold still. Arigato. Oh man, you're a lifesaver. Alright, you're wrapped up tight. How's it feel? Hmm, feels great. Seiko, thank you. 
Hey, you're very welcome. I sprained my ankle pretty badly before too, so I know just how you feel. I wish I had some ice or something to put on it though. No worries, you've done more than enough already. Uh, you're asleep now? That's fair enough, I guess. Why the fuck did you fall asleep? Why do you agree? <laughs> it's slumberland for me. I would never fall asleep in there. You really are an oddball, you know that? Wait. Yo. Naomi. Hey, Naomi? Hmm? If we find Wachita, have you thought about what you want to do with him? Huh? Yeah, it's exactly what I just said, Naomi. Well, you know what they say. When two people are faced with difficult situations, shall we say, it often leads to love. Sweet love. You should well up all your courage and confess your feelings to him. You get all girly with him in this creepy place and your cuteness factor will grow three sizes in his eyes, I bet. I swear, with you around, I almost feel like we're just shooting the breeze back at school, like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Thanks for your advice. I'll think about it. Okay. I hope we find him soon. Uh-huh. You kind of don't know, though, do you? You're thinking about how you wish he didn't have to be... You're thinking about how you wish he didn't have to be put through all of this. You want to see him, but you wish you could rest easy knowing that he's safe and sound back home, rather than wandering around here. Am I right? Must be those maternal instincts of yours kicking in, huh? You're a deep one, to be sure. She may sound like an idiot, but she's right on all counts. Guess there's no fooling Seiko. I've been pretty curt with her since we got here. I have to make sure I apologize later. Mm. And what was that exactly? Heh, <laughs> sorry. It's just that when I see that ass of yours, I start to drool? What the f Okay. You are so weird. That was Yuka again. I heard it too. I'll go take a look. You stay here and rest, okay? I'll be back in a jiffy. I don't think that's such a good idea. I should go too. I insist. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Just keep that ass parked on that bed. You got it? Well, but... Look, your ankle's all dressed and feeling better, right? Don't make it all for nothing. Alright, I guess I'll stay here. Hmm, my ankle really does feel a lot better. Sioko has a definite knack for caretaking. <sighs> Miss Yui and the others. Satoshi. Wonder what we're all doing right now. I gotta say, that was a pretty impressive reaction. Hmm. Whoever heard of a class representative with such a sadistic streak? Whoever heard of a boy who can hit a note like that when he screams? <laughs> Don't be an ash, Yusiki. Okay, okay, let's not have any fighting. I have to admit, though, his reaction was awfully cute. <laughs> I just want to see him. Why did this have to happen? Right, I'm out the bed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. And I'm going to leave this here so thank you all so much for watching i hope you're still all enjoying it um please tune in for the next part and until then all of you please remember to subscribe um leave any comments in the comments box below and don't forget to ring my bell click the notification button to keep up to date with my new videos and i'll see you for the next part so until then all of you take care bye bye